we are on 2019 FRQ number five here, and this is uh, area problem here. It says that R of a region in close by graphs of g of x equals negative two plus three cosine of power over two x, and h of x equals six minus two times x squared, uh, x minus one squared. Uh, the y-axis and the vertical line x equals two, as shown in the figure above. So what am I gonna do first? I'm gonna figure out which one is g and which one is um, h, right? So that way I know which one's my function. So g of x is the cosine function, that is this one right here. And the reason why I know that is because it has a curve. It looks like it's in a curve like this. So it looks like it's a trig function. And then my um, h of x is upside down parabola. So it's this function right here. Okay, so that's my h of x. All right, so find the area of r. So looking from this, I can see it's my h minus g, right? Because h is on top and g is on the bottom. So it's my top minus bottom. So part A, I'm gonna do my work right here. So I have enough room. So area is the integral from zero to two. My top function, six minus two times x minus one squared. Subtract my bottom function, which is negative two plus three cosine of pi over two x and then dx, all right? So you gotta do all this by hand. Now you gotta figure out your, um, you have to figure out where your um, function is gonna go, okay? All right, so make sure you guys can see. All right, so make sure you can take your antiderivative. What I would strongly recommend in this case is um, you could do, well, I would, I would start by cleaning up first. <laughs> so I get it's zero to two. Um, six minus two, you could multiply this out. If you're comfortable with uh, chain rule, you actually don't have to multiply this whole thing out, right? So plus two, sorry, make sure my two is good. Plus two minus three cosine of pi over two x dx, all right? So um, I can combine the six and the two. So I get zero to two, eight minus two, x minus one squared, minus three cosine of pi over two x dx. Okay, now take the antiderivative. I get 8x minus two, your x minus one to the third power over three. The coefficient of x is one, so I don't have to do anything with that. Minus three, the antiderivative cosine is sine of pi over two x. Coefficient of uh, x is pi over two, multiply by the reciprocal, two over pi, e value zero to two. Okay, so I get 8x minus two thirds, x minus one cubed minus six over pi, sine of pi over two x evaluated to uh, zero to two. So I get uh, eight times two is 16 minus two third, two minus one cubed is one, right? Minus six over pi, sine of pi over two times two is pi, sine of pi is zero, good, that's gone. Okay, minus eight times zero is zero, minus two thirds, Negative one, zero minus one, negative one. Negative one cubed is negative one. So I get negative one here. Minus six over pi, sine of zero is still zero. Good, that's gone. Okay, so this clean up, I guess 16 minus two third, right? This is zero, that's zero. Okay, what else do I have? Minus a neg, minus, uh, so this is a positive two third, minus two thirds, so minus two third. So I get 16 minus four thirds, right? So if I multiply this out, or at least I get uh, 16 times three, 16 times three is 48. So I get 48 minus four all over three. Final answer of 44 over three for this area, okay? So yes, it did look pretty bad in the beginning, but um, it does clean up a bit, okay? All right. Region R is the base of a solid. For this solid at each, x, the cross section perpendicular to the x-axis. So we have some cross sections here going perpendicular to the x-axis. So this is um, where it's going. Is the area of one over x plus three. Okay, by the volume of the solid. So the thing is here is that the area is already defined for you. So you really don't have to worry about the top minus bottom. It doesn't tell you how to use the top minus bottom. It says that area is already defined. So all you have to do, believe it or not, all you have to do for this problem is just know the fact that your integral went from zero to two because it is perpendicular to the x-axis. The area is already defined for you. So the volume for this solid, right, the volume for this solid, um, sorry, move this. The volume for this solid is that you are going to have integral from zero to two, and this area, you add infinitely many of these areas from zero to two, right? So just go ahead and put that um, function in there. Okay, I don't know 
know what's going on here, sorry. Um, so you get one over x plus three and dx, all right? So remember, this is a x to the one power in the denominator. So we're gonna use our natural log to take the integral. So natural log of absolute value of x plus three evaluated from zero to two. So you get natural log of five minus natural log of three, which then could be simplified as natural log of five over three. And that is the final answer for that area, okay? All right, last bit. Write, but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid generated when r is rotated about the horizontal line y equals six. So again, looking at this picture here, we have to look at the fact that, hey, where is y equals six? So y equals six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. y equals six is right here. So you're gonna rotate this way. So why do I need to see that? I need to see this so I can see who is my big radius and who is my small radius. So please remember this. Your big radius is from the axis revolution to the farthest function. So it's going to be this 6 minus g of x. And then your small radius is going to be 6 minus h of x. All right. So big radius and small radius. So let's write that out first. So the big radius. So big radius is... The axis of revolution 6 minus my h of x, my h of x, no, my g of x, this is the one that's farthest. So g of x is negative 2 plus 3 cosine of pi over 2x, right? My little radius is going to be the axis of revolution again minus my h of x. My h of x is 6 minus 2, x minus 1 squared. Okay, so those are my radii, right? So you can clean it up or you can leave it as this is really up to you because it says you don't have to evaluate. So the volume of this is washer. So it's pi integral from zero to two, big radius. So this whole thing, six minus negative two plus three cosine of pi over two X, the whole thing squared minus little radius, six minus six minus two X minus one squared, the whole thing squared and then dx. So again, in the, uh, in the interest of making sure you don't um, clean up too much and mess up your answer, I would suggest you leave it like this because this is totally fine. Again, just keep in mind that this was your g of x and this was your h of x. So you kind of keep track of where all the functions went, okay? All right, that's it for this problem.